Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh, that's right, and good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with something a little kinder, a little gentler today. This is from Carol and Roger Young in Stillwater Canyon. They said the water level is a little down, but still, it makes a very pretty picture, and you get that kind of water anywhere around our neck of the woods this time of year. That's always a plus. Let me show you some places that could have used some of that water. Cool picture from Tammy Hawk Halter. Obviously, this is the one over by Molt. You can see the fire there. Let me show you another one over there by Molt. This is from Randy Feifel. Uh, this is by Buffalo Trail Road. These were some of the night pictures as the thing was just smoldering last night. Had again the seating. That's we had. So here's the way things are shaping up in Billings right now, though. Currently, we have 69 degrees with mostly cloudy skies and northeast breeze at about 9 miles per hour. Now, our high temperature today actually topped out at 81, uh, just one degree cooler than our normal high of 82, the record 97. Back in 2012, the record low, 44 back in 1992. When it comes to precipitation, we didn't have anything measurable, but I know when I was driving home for dinner tonight, I did see a few scattered raindrops on the windshield, but that's about all we had. And as you'll notice here, here we're still ahead of normal for the month of 203. Uh, need to be just 16 to be caught up to average for this month to date total. And for the year, we're way ahead of normal there at 13.90. If you take the entire year of precipitation, their average year is 13.66. So we've actually gone past that. But year to date totals, we needed to be just under 10 inches, and obviously we've done well there. Uh, as you can see, our current temperatures are mostly into the 50s and 60s out in the west. Across the high line, same story. Back in eastern Montana, 56 at Glendive. You see 69 at Billings, 62 over Mile City. Northern Wyoming also went to the 60s. But look at our reported highs for the day. Just about everybody got into the 70s in some places, like Billings and Sheridan actually got up into the low 80s. It was 84 over at Worland today. As you'll see, our thunderstorm outlook for today does show isolated showers and thunderstorms to the southwest and also for extreme southeastern Montana and northeastern Wyoming. And for tomorrow, almost all of the western part of the state, most of southern Montana, will have the threat of some isolated thunder showers. Nothing severe, but just maybe some possible uh, boomers or something like that. But I don't think they'll be, you know, bringing hail or anything like that. Northeast corner of the state looks like they will go dry by Glasgow. Right now, tonight, here's what we see. Just some spotty showers trying to make their way past the Beartooth. And it's been most of the evening they've been just falling apart but they're just now starting to hang together as they make their way in towards Yellowstone County tonight. We'll pull back a little farther and show you that there's a lot more showers where that came from. Continues to turn the corner and head towards the southeast corner of the state tonight. And that's what basically the big story is. You can see this ridge of high pressure here sending all that moisture right up the Rocky Mountains. The jet stream grabs it and starts pushing it into Montana. At the same time, this low pressure cell here is slinging a little moisture on shore into Washington and Oregon and that's riding in on the jet stream as well and continues to push into the southern part of the state. Of course, Here's what's happening now. You can see this is the uh, the hurricane, Hurricane uh, Dorian. Now that is now a Category 2 hurricane, and it is still forecast to get up to maybe a Category 4 with winds maybe up to 140 miles per hour by the time it makes landfall next to, uh, next to Monday evening. In the meantime, for us, we just have the cold air dropping down from Canada, kind of pushes up against the mountains, high pressure here, grabs that moisture and just slings it back our way. And so you'll see that by the time uh, Friday get, night gets here, maybe some spotty showers here for football magic time. And then after that, you're looking at drying conditions on Saturday and again on Sunday. We'll probably warm back up into the uh, low 90s on, by the time Sunday gets here. Billings might see 700ths of an inch of rain. The big winner is going to be 1500ths over at Lewistown and everyone else generally uh, something less than that. Now tonight our temps will cool down to the 40s and 50s out in the west. 50s back here in eastern Montana. Maybe a few spotty sprinkles before you know it, but it'll be out south central Montana. Then for tomorrow back to the 70s, some low 80s with a chance for some light rain showers as well. Out in the far west, temps also into the 80s there. For Billings tonight 57 with just a slight 20% chance of rain showers tonight. We get into the 80s on Friday and Saturday, 93 on Sunday, and then we'll roll it back into the 80s as we get into all of next week with a slight chance of rain Monday through Wednesday. Let's go back to the desk.